In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly, step-by-step, -step, how to make as much as $300 a day or more using AI video tools. And I'm sure you've probably seen the hype around OpenAI's video creation tool called Sora. This is a tool that came out a couple months ago, and as you can see, it's doing a fantastic job of creating AI videos from just a prompt or a sentence. That's right, if you can think it and type it, OpenAI's Sora can create it. Only, there's one major problem. OpenAI's Sora tool is not yet available. So all these fancy videos and everything like this, actually, yeah, we can't even use these yet. However, I found a tool today that we're going to be looking at called Hyper, Hyper, Hyper AI that actually creates videos for you. I'm going to show you how to use this tool to create full-fledged videos that will put money in your pocket. And it's actually super simple, but there's a few things you need to know. Because I'm sure you've seen tools like InVideo, Pictory, and other quote-unquote AI video generators that promise to make beautiful, wonderful videos in seconds with nothing more than a couple of prompts. And I've tried a lot of these, and so far, I'm not impressed. But this tool we're going to be looking at today actually impressed me quite a bit. Why? Because it's creating videos from ideas. So while you have InVideo and Pictory and all these other ones that are creating strings of videos and putting together stuff that already exists, Hyper AI is actually creating the video from your imagination. That's right, you can type whatever you want in the box, like a guy making money online, a Dr. Seuss type character holding money, a clown scuba diving, someone burning their dinner, a mummy walking, another mummy. Hey, what's with the mummies today? And I even gave it a prompt to see if it would create the world famous, iconic Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie. And I said, please make an old film style black and white image of a mouse driving a steamboat. And this is what it came up with. That's actually pretty cool. And I have this farmer guy down here, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Using this tool can actually make you a lot of money, and I'm going to show you exactly how. But first, we need to understand the limitations. There are limits to what these tools can do and how they work. Like we saw with InVideo, it's compiling videos that already exist, whereas a tool like this is creating them from the imagination, which actually takes a ton of computer power, which means the most we can do is about four seconds. But don't worry, that's all we're going to need to make money. More about that in just a minute. That's why people went crazy about OpenAI Sora, because this thing was creating 60 second videos with just a simple prompt. But again, how is a video like this going to make money? And since this tool isn't available, what does this kind of thing look like in the Hypier tool? I actually went through and gave it the exact same prompt. That's right, I copied the prompt from OpenAI Sora, put it over here, set it to four seconds, and let's see how it did. It's actually not too bad. And I think understanding and working with the right prompts, you can get some really good output that you can use in your videos. But again, it is right now limited to four seconds. I have found the tool is 100% free. I haven't paid anything and it's working like crazy. And I did notice that in addition to showing all the members other work here that I can take a look at, there's some tabs on the explore page like create video with text. So it'll put text on the video, animate your own image. This is really cool. Repaint your video so you can get a different style and coming soon is extending the duration of the video with one click. So whereas the other tool, OpenAI Sora, creates a longer video, this will create a short one with the ability to click a button and make it longer. That way, we can get the desired length with a few clicks like that. But again, that is a limitation. So if you're going to make a 60 second video, you need to be mindful of the fact that using little four second clips, you're going to need about 15 of those to compile a one minute video. So that's the major limitation I see so far. Obviously, you can't use this to create weird things or strange things. It will censor you. 
but that's not what we're going to use to make money anyway. We want to keep everything on the up and up, don't step on trademarks or infringements, and really use this tool to help us create a desired output. Second, we need to know the rights of what we can and cannot use. I glanced through the rights and limitations of this product using the word output content, and so far what I've seen, obviously check with a third party, I'm not a lawyer, it looks like you can use the output content as long as it's not stepping on any infringement rights or trademarks or anything like that. So creating a Pepsi Cola video might be off limits and I probably can't use that commercially, nor should I because, I mean, let's face it, Pepsi has a little bit more money than me and that's a battle I don't wanna fight. But what if we could use this tool to create stuff on the up and up that actually puts money in our pocket? More about that in just a minute. First, let's check out our farmer. This is a farmer where I said, please make a funny looking farmer, 50% realistic, 50% human, with a green screen background. Now this part is super important because if I include the green screen, I can pair this with other tools. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and download this video right here and drag it onto the timeline of my favorite video editor. I did notice a little bit of a hiccup, and that is when you download the videos, they're in some weird format. They are MP4, but they are a weird format. So I had to drag the files over here like this into a converter. The one that I used that worked perfectly was the Wondershare Uni Converter, and all I had to do is convert like this, and it made the video so that I can use it. Now, keep in mind these are HD, but they're not full HD, so you're looking at a 1280 by 720 rather than a 1920 by 1080. So keep that in mind. They're not full HD yet, but you could use an upscaler. And if you wanted a full HD video, just drag it to the size of the video. Much like we're doing over here with this video, I'm actually creating the video now here, and you can see that these are full HD. However, if I was to go through and create the video for the other stuff, right? Let's just drag this in here. We have the file that this one should work. All right, let's see where these are. I think it's over here. We'll drag these right like this and they should work, but they, okay. Again, it looks like they're not working. Let's try the settings here. It looks like encoder, let's do, hey, let's do this one. This should work. All right, hopefully this will work. Let's see. Well, we'll get this working here in just a minute somehow. All right, I got it. It looks like we had to do it as MPEG-4 to get it to work. Now, as I said, again, this is going to be smaller. So in order to make it bigger, we're just gonna drag it right like that. And we have our four second video right here like this. Now, the cool thing about this is we can actually go through and drop the background. That's why I had it do a green background. That way I can go through and use something like video effects right here. And then I'll go down to remove a color and I can actually drop the background from this video in a super, super simple way. Now, you might have to play around a little bit to get it perfect, but again, you know, it doesn't take too long, and this is a video that AI created anyway. There we go, this will work pretty good. And again, whatever you have on the background is gonna come through, so it'll be pretty cool. Now, this is where we're gonna go through and layer the different videos on top of each other. Now, utilizing this, I can go through and use something like Storyblocks, which has tons of video footage, or I can even create a background video using the AI tool. So if I go through and I do something like farm, right, like this, we're gonna see all the videos that they have for farm, and I can utilize these in a super simple way behind my animated guy to get something really cool. So let's say we have this one here with the fence or the chickens or whatever it is. All I have to do is go over to my video timeline like this and then just drag that barn right here and bada bing, bada boom, he's gonna be in the barn. And then you could go through and, and toggle the different settings here to make sure that none of him is actually coming through. You play around with this, you get a pretty good quality type image. Very simple, very easy. Again, playing around with the tools will make this uh, better or worse. Or of course, you can just ask the AI tool to add a background on there as well. Now, when we're doing this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fancy this up a little bit, right? Using these tools like this one here, I can cut to different videos. So I can go through and say, oh, hey, now I want a barn over here, right? Like this, and it'll cut from him 
to the barn. And this could be like your little um, intro video where you could say, oh, hey, here's Farmer John. He's going to teach you how to plant tomatoes or something like that. And of course, in order to make Farmer John entertaining and good, all I would need to do is go through and find some, some music using Storyblocks or even using an AI music creator. So I could do something like this one here. All I got to do is download it right like this and throw this into the timeline as well. Very simple. So now we'll go like this, and you can go through and have uh, whatever you want. If you wanted to zoom in on him, you could just do an animation, right, like this, and zoom in on him uh, in a big way, right? All you do is like this, and then we'll just scale him right like that. And this will be our Farmer John, right? Right like this. And if you wanted to do a video on Farmer John plants tomatoes, you could do something like this, where you go through to your video creation tool over here, and you could say, please make a cartoon video of someone planting tomato seeds. And it'll go through and make that video for you. Very simple. Then going through, you can use tools like theprofitscoop.com where we have a video title caption maker, right? Like this. And you can say farmer Bob, right? Like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to make an image that you can use on your video. And I'll show you how to make money with these in just a minute. I'm just having a little bit of fun here. I think these tools are really fun to play with. So we could do something like uh, farmer Bob, farmer Bob's gardening tips, right? And we can make an entire channel around this farmer Bob guy. And there's other ways to make money with this as well. So we'll go through and we'll just download these as each their own. And then we can put these on the timeline, right? Like this. Okay. So there's farmer Bob. And then we'll have gardening tips, right? Like this. And if you wanted to make uh, something about tomatoes or something, or even had like some kind of, you know, fancy stuff here, we could go like this. Let's fit this again. And again, any video creator will work. I happen to use Camtasia just because it's easy. And then we could do like pulsating and then shifting. And then what it'll look like is this. And then, of course, we'll just go through and we'll get our tomato video. Hopefully it's done. Sometimes it takes a minute, but we can get our tomato video or use stock footage or whatever we want. Now, using a cartoon will keep the theme, which is kind of cool. And, you know, it works pretty good. As you can see, it is creating really good videos. Now, I was doing a test with the mummies here to see if I could get the background removed. Um, that was something that I thought would be interesting with a tool like this. And let, let's try that out real quick. We'll download this one again. Uh, okay, so that's 8915. We're going to run this through our tool here and convert it right like this. And we'll try this one as well. So we'll do settings. Let's do uh, MPEG-4, save, convert. And then that should convert it so it'll work in this tool. Depending on what video editor you're using, it may or may not take the files. So I'm just going to do this as a test while we wait for the other video uh, to see if we can remove the background here, because I think that would be kind of a game changer. If I can remove the background clean, that would be a, a really good thing to have. So let's do select the color. There we go. So this one is doing very clean and I can get the mummy like that. So like if I wanted the mummy to be walking on the street, I could go through and be like a uh, dark street or even a bright street could work. Let's do um, daytime street, right? Like this. And we'll do the daytime street. Yeah, here we go. So let's say he's walking here with all these fast people. We could just download this right here and then drag and drop this right over here put it behind our mummy, and of course, he'll be walking on the street like that, right? And you can get as creative as you want. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. A lot of cool things that you can do here um, with these videos. And again, the tools are going to get better, which means they're going to be even easier uh, to make money with, right? So now we're already four seconds in our video. We have this here, Farmer Bob's Gardening Tips. While we're waiting for that other one, I can go ahead and do 
um, killer tomato planting guide or, or best tomato planting guide or something like that. Um, and again, each line is going to create its own image so I can drag and drop these on there and get all the effects and everything. So let's get a planting guide here and I could just get these ready for when that tomato one's done and it'll say best tomato planting guide right like this. And we'll drag these down to the bottom, make them bigger, make sure they fit. Good, good, good. And then we'll just add some behaviors on them. Let's do a jump and fall over here and a fly in here. And it'll look like this. All right, super simple. And hopefully our tomato guy is getting close to being done here. Let's see. That's 37%, so we're getting there. But you can see that this is actually doing a really good job of creating different footages that I can use for my videos. And while we wait for this, let's talk about some of the ways that you can make money with this. It's actually super simple, and it's something I've been doing for a long time. The first video I ever put online was 1998. The first video I ever made money with was probably around 2004. So I've been doing this for quite some time. Some of the things that you can do is you can actually go out there and you can create niche stock footage. I could take the time and create videos for dentists, uh, workout therapists or workout trainers or whatever it is, um, personal trainers. You can do health stuff, any kind of business, maybe limousines or something like that, where you can create niche stock footage and sell that as a monthly subscription or a one-time thing where instead of going to something like Storyblocks, which obviously is good, but they are limited when you get into like limousine or dentist or something like that, like a lot of limos are older, doesn't really give me the stuff that I would want, you can actually create this for companies in a very simple way. Another thing you can do is you can create videos for companies. So instead of just stock footage for companies, I can go out there and I can do something like these people are doing on Fiverr, where they're creating different animation videos for anywhere from like 50 to $600 or more. Now, this is something that I do in my content business daily. We sell content, text content, video content, Pinterest, you name it. We make a lot of money selling content and a lot of it is generated with AI. We're just adding a human interaction. Again, that's the problem you're gonna run into with tools like InVideo. They do have their place in building content. However, I think human interaction is what's gonna make your video that much better, like we're doing today. So doing video creation for companies, you can do logos. So if you do something like a logo video, you're gonna see that on Fiverr, there's lots of people doing this from $20 to 60 to several hundred dollars for a little tiny three second video like this. And AI can create these like crazy, super simple. We can see here, this is an animated GIF they're making for $30 and it's like literally a couple of seconds. There's some others here that are like $150 for a 30 second video with 75 words. Again, this kind of stuff AI shines at making. However, you're gonna have to compile it and put it together. So logos are good, animation videos, custom explainer videos where you're explaining a product, talking about how to do something like this tomato one we're making, or other ways you can make money selling videos to companies and, and different things like that as well. It's actually super simple. Next, what we can do is create our own video channel. Much like I'm doing here with Farmer Bob, we're creating a niche channel around, hey, this guy's gonna teach you how to plant things. He's gonna have little cartoons and things like that. What you wanna do is create niche videos with an idea to promote something. We wanna promote affiliate offers, maybe our own products, all kinds of different things that we can make money with, even making money with uh, different ads and ad revenue. Although, watch out because some types of AI content are not eligible for monetization. So, definitely keep that in mind. However, this kind of stuff works great on TikTok, short videos, and even long-form video where you would be monetizing off-platform. More about that in just a little bit. Another thing I noticed that would work really well is doing videos that are easy topic book style, like, you know, books that explain money or financial or whatever it is. This kind of stuff goes crazy here on YouTube and other platforms. I'll link to some videos in the description that talk about niches that work like this as well. And then of course, D, 
we could create cartoons with this. As we see, this thing is just doing great for cartoon style videos. We got Farmer Bob. We got the uh, mouse driving the boat. We got all kinds of crazy things that we can use and they work like crazy. Now we have our cartoon of the person planting tomatoes, which is pretty cool. And we could see they're doing a pretty good job, although she's kind of morphing a little bit. So we can change it. I don't know where her glasses went. Maybe she planted those. But we can kind of tweak this and, and work with it as well. Um, another thing I can do here is I can slow it down and just take the parts I want. So again, let's convert this and I'll show you how the slowdown process works. Okay, MPEG-4, and we'll do like this. And then when we have this part, we can kind of cover up some of the imperfections by slowing it down, speeding it up, and even zooming in. Um, this works really, really well. So we could go through and see what she's got. Okay, so she gets all weird right about here. So we can cut that, make it a little bit bigger, and... There we go. So now she's going to just move slower. That's good. Then we can just cut over here and go straight to the tomatoes. All right, so we'll just zoom in like this and we'll have the tomatoes planting with her hand there, which is fine. So now we have something where it's like, okay, watching this video, here's Farmer Bob. So now we got something that we can work with. Again, we're about eight seconds in and I've been making this while talking. So I would think I could probably create a really good video in an hour, maybe two hours if I'm new and, you know, do a good job. Again, taking a look at this and saying, okay, what is our, our video going to look like? Now doing this, what we can do is pair this with stuff like ChatGPT. Now here is a big secret. I can go through and say, please make a 60 second video script on how to plant tomatoes. Then we're going to do something a little more sinister to make this thing work like crazy. And what we can do with that is actually take the visual here and put this into our tool. So we're just going to have it create the visuals of these different things. So now we're going to have a quick montage of the tomatoes. And we can even go through and use 11 labs to say the word. So if I wanted to go through and use 11 labs like this, and then just put the voice in right like this, it'll actually generate. Let's get started on planting your very own tomato garden. Right like this. And we could just download that and drag that right onto the part where we are talking about planting the tomato gardens. Here's the audio here. It'll go with the voice. Let's get started on planting your very own. And you could drop the music so that it does a little bit better there so that you could hear it, right? Just drop the music. Let's get started on planting your very. A little bit more. Let's get started on plant. Super simple, right? So we can use these voices and stuff like that alongside what's going on. And the AI is literally making the script we feed this AI the different parts of the script that do the visual, and we could create a video super fast. And knowing how to use these tools is key. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the AI tools to get the little two to four second clips. And what you're gonna notice is that a lot of clips are two to four seconds anyway. A lot of B-roll and stuff like that, they're not very long clips. I mean, some of these are like nine seconds, but that's a little slowed down. I don't think I'd use the full nine seconds of that video. I'd probably use a lot less. Um, and you can go through and do like, okay, B-roll. See what kind of B-roll they have. Uh, B-roll is, is behind the scenes. So 19 seconds, 17, 14, 18. Again, utilizing this stuff, like this time-lapse stuff. If we do a time-lapse that's four seconds, we can slow that down and make it actual speed and probably get like a 10 or 12 second video out of it as well. So utilizing this stuff is super cool. Again, we need to remember to use human interaction. Now the tools that I'm using, 
I am using the converter. This is the Wondershare converter. I'm using Camtasia, which is a video editor. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but you could use any free video editor. Most of them will probably allow the files as is, so you don't even have to convert them like I had to. Uh, we're going to use video blocks, 11 labs, clip art, and other things like that. Now, we're going to take the footage, add them, and compile them. Add music, other footage, voices, cartoons, and different things like that. It's actually super simple, and it works like crazy. And I actually noticed something pretty cool, which is once you have a video that starts to be generated, you can queue up several others alongside it so you don't have to wait for all of them at once. So I can go through and create right like this, and it's actually creating three of them at once, which saves me a ton of time, especially since I'm just copying and pasting the visual right here from chat GPT in a super simple way. Then I could go through and load them up, but you do have to wait until the queuing is done, then you can prompt the next one. I think actually it looks like there's some HD stuff too, where you can, you know, change different settings and stuff like that, which is actually really cool. So as you can see here, once this is queued, I can prompt this next one, saving me time and making videos very quickly. And then of course over here, it looks like I have my history, which is looking pretty good as well. And now it looks like we have our tomatoes right here like this. Looking pretty good, four seconds of tomatoes. Not really much video action going on, but they're usable. So we'll go ahead and download that there. Again, if I wanted to take my time and make this perfect, like if a client was paying me, I'd probably go through and do even better there. But this will actually do pretty good here with our voiceover. So we'll just go ahead and convert this again. Boom, there we go and then drag our tomatoes right over here. Now again, we can have a... Now again, we can go through and make a little uh, image over it with the words like, oh, choose the right tomato or whatever. Something like that, very simple. And you can see that that block of text was only about three seconds. So it looks like this. Let's get started on planting your very own tomato garden. And you can see it's working on all kinds of other things as well. Let's see how this one's going and this one's going. So we got some good stuff that we can use. And again, we'll prompt it for this one here. And then we'll come back and take a look at what these look like so you can see how to create a video step by step. And here's our gardener in the sunlight area. This is actually pretty cool. I like this one. That looks really realistic. So we'll download that like that and then drag that over to our timeline right here. Again, we can go through and Again, we can go through and, and generate the text with 11 labs or our own voice, and it's actually looking pretty good. You can put transitions on these and make them as cool as you want. It's actually very simple. And now we have the garden soil one here, which is looking pretty good. Looks like it's like magically falling from his hand there, but that's a pretty good one. So we could download that, throw that here in our timeline right here, make it bigger. And you can see we're getting a pretty decent video here. Right like that. And then we could add our text and all our fancy stuff and things like that. And we actually have a pretty good video from Farmer Bob's Gardening Tips about how to plant tomatoes and different things like that. Very simple, very easy. And as you can see, this is doing a really good job of creatively making exactly what we want. Like this was a mouse driving a steamboat in cartoon style. Uh, the mummy here was actually pretty good. He has a little bit trouble walking. So, you know, he's more like doing a little dance and a jig or something like that. But you could see that with a little bit of work, these actually do a really good job of really n hitting what we're asking it to do, which is crazy. And you could go through and have AI create the whole thing for you. And then of course, once you're used to playing with these, once the tools like Sora are actually available to the public, it's gonna get even better. So this is something that, I mean, you could create this one minute video pretty quickly. You can sell it on Fiverr. You can create it for your own channel. You can sell it to people directly like I do and many of my other students do. And it's something that works really, really well. And you can see this guy's done like over a thousand orders uh, of his animated videos and things like that. And this is something that does get a lot of traction. Again, what I would do is I would start uh, maybe a little bit less expensive and, and get some work under your belt, get some people to like this stuff, and also maybe dabble in promoting your um, ads too, because some of these you can promote your 
Fiverr and get more people. Um, or you could go directly, like go to local business and say, hey, do you want a video for your dentist or your limo company or whatever company it is? This is something where you can make money in a very, very simple way. Now, if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to have notes from this video over at downloadmynotes.com. And as always, I'm going to have three different links in the description, one to a video on the different YouTube niches you could use this for, another one for some other AI tools and creation tips on making videos, and another one on how to make money with this whole process. So thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Check out the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.